Oh boy, the Video Game Awards are coming in three months. This game will have over 400 quality. The Grim Dork Future. Get all the best guys, all the best skills. Everything as good as possible. And bang is done. It's okay, but I'm gonna save my money. Keep shoveling, everybody. Just keep shoveling, just keep shoveling. That could be great, and it almost is. <laughs> yep, this is... I suppose I should have made this a simulation game, because Bang is clearly the Diamond Dallas Page simulator. With real motion controls to track your hand vagina. close are you guys to? You're almost done with your training, so I will go ahead and hold off on making those guys that just finished the micro project start anything new, because then they can hop over there and start training. Upcoming winner of game of the year might be large. Well, no. Larger project than small might be medium. If we're going to make another game coming up. Yeah, it would have to be something like that, but... Oh! The game that has, like, the improbable number of stars um, was made by a two-person development team, wasn't it? Or was it ten? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's... Let's check exactly what was their story. Okay, they do have ten de developers, so yes, they probably just got everybody together and made a Triple A title or whatever. Psycho not. I don't know how much medium cost uh, game costs the base because uh, I'm gonna wait until building a medium game is one of my uh, tasks, which will be, I guess, when this one is done. Sound frog. James, learn word. That doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Okay, the Grim Dork Future is a 584 quality game. That's good. Let's try and get it, yes, a medium advertising campaign. It will make us more money that way. I cannot put into words how much I love this game. The Grim Dork Future is a giant among puny humans. It's that good. The studio behind the Grim Dork Future have done an excellent job. It's excellent. I put on my robe and wizard hat, and I cast excellent upon the Grim Dork future. I also copy myself from the past. Role playing might seem somewhat stale, but the Grim Dork future is here to shake things up. What are you talking about? It's the hottest genre. Kotaku, you're so contrarian. Yep. Next step is to publish a medium scale game. So let's go into build mode. Pretty sure medium scale game is going to require six devs, right? Sounds logical. We don't have enough money to do it, but let's see. Oh, wait. Medium ga game will require ten devs. So, like, we literally don't have enough people to make one yet. We only have eight developers. Well, you know what that means. Yep. Time to go back into build mode and make some desks.
Those are tables. It's true. Can I move them? No, I can't move them. Fine. Sell them. These are tables. You know what? I, uh... I just think that these desks should, their workspaces should be clean. That's, that's what's really going on here. <laughs> you must provide your own computer. What do you think this is, some kind of charity? Alright, let's get out of build mode. You will notice I made another tiny desk there in case we want to make more micro games. I may want a fountain closer to the desks. That's fair, but let's look and see who we can hire. Jesus! Sean's got real problems with my feng shui here. Arrives late. Falls asleep randomly. Eats all the time. Produces worse quality. Wait, they start with skills? What are you talking about? Oh, I see. Small amounts of skill. Jeez, that's laughable amount of skill though, right? Look at me, I barely qualify as an artist. I've written five words out before, and I know HTML. La -da 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 -da. Different workers will be available to hire tomorrow. I don't think they're going to know advanced programs. I think it's literally just... Uh, I think it's literally just that um, guys cost more to hire now that we've moved to Vancouver. It's the next, like, difficulty step. Alright, if I go into build, build mode here. I can move this. Temporarily. Now, I do want that there. But let's see about the water cooler. Put one down there. Original water cooler. For these schlubs. Cause I'm feeling so generous. I don't have enough money in the bank right now. Let's wait a minute so that we have enough. the hottest thing in the world of games right now. It is shooters. What the 
house on. I can't, I can't make a, I can only, basically, they, they scale up fast here. Micro games, two. Small games, four. Medium, ten. I don't have enough guys to put on a game, and I, I don't think I would be able to uh, bankroll one anyways. Particularly since some of the guys on it would be so inexperienced, it would just be worthless to do. Blast it all. Let's get the world's most experienced coder and the world's most experienced artist. And you guys are good. Get working. Multiple dudes on similar tasks on the small. Yeah, there's no, there's no way that you can, like, have another guy come in and sort of work as backup. That would be, that would be nice, but... Can't just, like, add him. Yeah, team's already full. That's alright. We'll make this game this way. How... Oh, okay, you guys still have a long way to go on that, so I'll have the other two make a micro game. Micro game's gonna take ten grand to make, right? Never mind, I'll make a micro game in like a couple minutes. There we go. If you have a code heavy game with a team of four, can you have two people working on code? No Z Sword, you have to have somebody working on each one of the four tasks. I think. I suppose it's something we can try in the future. Yeah, like they gotta do it on small, I suppose. Um, so yes. We're gonna make a new puzzle game, or we're gonna call it Spin Blocks Around. You guys have extra good tools for at least half of your jobs. Get going on that. Being a micro game should be just fine. And we lost 144 grand because we finished a big old game. Now, let's see. Who is available to work? Who's available to hire today? You're an archaleptic coder. You work slow, but you produce good quality. Welcome to the team, Will. And Jeff B. Yeah, we can get Jeffrey for his monocle. We could even get him for just being a coder. Now that once everyone gets in... Oh, the tiny desk is already... They're already done with uh, their work there. So let's start in a new game. Yes, I think I need a new, let's see. This one will be the banana eating simulator. We've already had a banana peeling simulator. 
we want to get in on this height. Will can do the writing and the art. Jeffrey can do the coding and the sound. The cliffhanger. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't consider this a full sequel. I would consider this a spin off. But we'll see what happens. Bin Blocks Around is done, and it's pretty good for a micro game. I'll give it a tiny budget. Super! This is why I love my job. Games like these, that while they're not perfect, they offer a bloody good time. That eating simulator is not going to be to that same level. How close to done are you guys? You're only two thirds of the way there. Hmm. I almost feel like I could uh, churn out another piece of garbage in that kind of time. This blast at all is going to take a lot more time. I haven't made a strategy in a while. There's literally no interest in the role-playing genre. We're almost good enough as a company to start a namesake character off. Almost. Are you suggesting that our namesake character should be Jack Blobbing? Horror is very hot right now. Horror is very hot. Let's make a horror game called Jack Blobbing Ghost Esquire. Let's get Gabe and Rob to work on that. Use all of the best abilities that you have. Franchise characters already dead, pushing boundaries everywhere. Oh, are we the first people to make an undead, uh... I mean, we might be. Alright, I just want to be able to look at that workstation. Everybody's leaving out. 189 grand profit. We, uh, won't have as much as, uh, Double Pine, but that's okay. Gee, guys, who do you think the most productive studio is going to be? Yay! We're the number one developer for Game Boy Advance. Do we have the most fans? Probably not. I think Double Pine started with like five times the fans we did when it came into being. I started a game I think also went to Double Pine. They literally have developed one game. And uh, they put ten guys on it. And they had $24 million to start with. So, fine. You do you, Double Pine. <laughs> they bought all the copies, yeah. Now, if it's revenue, and not just starting it... Oh, we're not even in the running. Come on. I 
Uh, we're not the largest, well, we're tied for the largest with Double Pine, unless they decided to hire another guy. Oh, wait, if Double Pine's not nominated, then we got that one. Yay, sales boost. Oh, sorry, Intro Sturgeon and Flampier. You guys are just horse faffle. That's right, horse faffle. Good. Everybody busily churning away. Banana eating simulator is done. This should not set the world on fire. Is banana eating simulator worse than bulletproof software? Impossibly. No, bulletproof software did something of value in their lifetime, didn't they? Oh, what was the... I feel like there was a game, at least, the foolproof software was. Dead Eating Simulator? I don't know. Actually, that's an excellent question. Let's look at our... Uh... No. Project. There you go. Dead Eating Simulator. 36. That peeling simulator was a 257. So yes, Banana Peeling Simulator was our first medium scale game. Or sorry, our first small scale as opposed to a micro. Yeah, no, that's, this is a total spin-off. Banana Peeling Simulator 2 is going to be something special. Now you can see Kong Ming the effing, uh, the puzzle of pain, the claw, and all of the pew pews are a year old, so they have all been retired. amount of churn that we've made in the meantime will be in good money. Relatively good money. Now you're walking over to shut off your console? Okay. So that means that uh, one of my new dudes can start getting trained. Jeffrey B, you can start learning United. Last of all, unfortunately, the, uh, the distribution of labor is not 100% even. couple of people just sort of sitting around. Want to get the Blasted All team all out. Oh, Jack Blobbing Ghost Esquire is done. <laughs> you know, if we were going to make a... Uh, we were going to go ahead and make a... Uh, uh, a mascot game, we probably should have put more effort into it than this. That's okay. One of these days, somebody's gonna make a uh, somebody's gonna make a series of YouTube videos delving into gaming history, and they're gonna be like, interestingly enough, the uh, the origin of uh, Jack Blobbing Ghost Esquire goes even farther back than Super Extreme uh, Station Wagon Racing Five. Jack Blobbing Ghost Esquire had his own game. Let's go ahead and publish the game. We don't need to give it any money. Now that someone can train here. You guys all have level 2 training. 
that means it's time for Will H to learn a little bit about WordPod. Because you already know all those, yes. Good, good, good. And time for another one. Keep journeying, everybody. Okay, so yes, medium-sized game is going to cost us about a million dollars, so we need to make some small ones to get ourselves sort of in the right area. It's too bad we just made a uh, horror game and we just completed our amazing shooter. Well, no, we didn't complete our amazing shooter yet. Although we do have an amazing group of guys gathered together here now that all have level 2 uh, abilities, so... Let's make it a... Let's... yeah... Actually, since they all have high levels of skill, and they all have, um... They all have level 2 uh, abilities, it may be time for our sequel to Banana Peeling Simulator. Feel the peel, BPS2. We have guys with uh, exceptional skills. Gabe is not the best coder, he's a young up and comer. Simulators are not as hot as shooters, but we just literally, we are moments away from publishing a shooter, so we gotta, we gotta bear some of that in mind. 170 grand. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. That should have... Let's see. Is anybody sleeping right now? We have two dudes sleeping. So, I need to get them on something. Well, no, because Blastadol is about to be done. So, I may want to reorganize those teams. Well, let's go ahead and uh, speed things up. Because the workday is almost over. Oh man, 599 stars for Blast It All. Let's put a strong marketing effort behind that. Oh, fuck you, Kodaku. We had almost perfect reviews. The destructible train really pulled them all together. Man, actually a shooter with uh, a lot of destructible terrain, like a spaceship shooter with destructible terrain would be would be pretty fun. Actually, hold on a second. No, oh, well, never mind. They're all leaving anyway. So we lost them a lot of money that month, technically. But, uh, let's go ahead and start a new project. We should have enough room, yeah, for another small project to go ahead. We have enough money to make one. 50k for producing a game that costs a million dollars. Yeah. We don't. We have ten. Alright, this is going to be a puzzle. Sorry, it wasn't a medium game. I keep saying medium because I'm thinking of micro as small. Yeah, Shaman, you, were, you weren't lied to. You were, uh, um, 
you were spoken to from a place of uh, carelessness. How's about that? I'm used to the American mod. Like, this game, I guess the, the developer, I think, must be from England, because you start in London. But uh, I'm, I'm used to the American model, where it's small, medium, large, extra large. None of this micro, small, medium, large. Who says large is the largest? Ugh. All right, so we got a puzzle going on here. It's going to be... Uh, it's going to be the most popular game ever. Digimon Tower Defense. Everyone's going to love it. Although I suppose that's more of a strategy game. Yeah, Digimon Tower Defense is a strategy game. Let's go ahead and make a strategy game called Digimon Tower Defense. This is going to be lit. Alright, we have a great coder. We have a great art guy. We have a talented writer and a talented sound person, but they're not trained on the best tools yet. So we'll have to get going on those. <laughs> what I love about this is I just said Digimon Tower Defense and now chat can devolve into like what that would actually be. I have no fucking, I, I've played Tower Defense games. I, I feel like I've seen uh, an episode, like I've seen part of an episode of Digimon before, but. It's your move, guys. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna have to wait, like, five minutes.